day 41, I'm still under the tunnel. Uh, I slept pretty well though. It wasn't bad under here, a little chilly, a little breezy, but uh, clinging in and nothing bothered me, and that's really what matters. Um, unfortunately, freaking Walmart only had that large can for sale, man, and it's hard to get it to siphon from one to the other when both cans are cold. So that's an annoyance I'm going to have to deal with before I leave town. Um, and I just really want to find some breakfast. Other than that, ugh, day's open, man. Anything can happen. I'm just hoping to score some breakfast and maybe a few more snakes and snacks, even though I probably have too many already. And head on out. Next town is like 110 or 20 miles away or something like that. But we're getting near the end of this journey because there's nothing really after that but the Grand Canyon, as far as I can tell. So we need to try to get up and over Snow Bowl before the snow starts happening. I don't think there's going to be snow happening, nothing real, you know, just the cold front coming in. It'll suck for a few days and it'll warm up, you know, just give me something to whine about. Uh, let's make some coffee and get the hell out of here. Uh, a little more trash strewn than I noticed when I was going to sleep, but... These aren't bad. Worked in a pinch. Glad it didn't rain last night. Okay, let's find breakfast and stuff. Let's go poop at Walmart first. I was thinking maybe this tunnel is where I should have slept, but it's evidently a train tunnel, so... Guess not. Making my way over to the IHOP because that's a nice, reasonably affordable place where I can get a decent amount of food. Still trying to figure out how to deal with my gas problem. Unfortunately, both my gas cans are cold, so it's not going to siphon properly. I need to heat one up and cool one down. So I got to figure that out before I leave town, too. I'm not walking out with this huge gas can. I already have too much weight on my back, and I'm not adding to it. I wandered around town, waiting for places to open, just had my breakfast. I'm figuring out how to siphon the gas out without heat, uh, without much heat anyway. So I've got the big gas can in my jacket here, and I warm it up. And the other one, like while I was in I IHOP, I put ice cubes, I asked for ice water, I put ice cubes on top of it. And that's seeming to do the trick, it's just real slow. Fire does it way better. Yeah, give it a couple hours, everything open, and then I take on that tiny little mountain. It's got to be because it's like the only one around, so that's what I'm going with. So I'm not on trail. Trail's over there a mile and a half or so. Going to the Walmart and the IHOP put me in the other side of town. But it looks like if I go up near the mountain... I can cut over to the trail and pass by a Safeway all at the same time because I still need some snicks and snacks. Even my food bag is on the outside of my bag now, but um, I'm, I'm a little tougher than I was. So I, I, think, I think I can handle it. Plus, I don't like going without food. Not that I really went without food, but I was definitely, I'm already calorie deficient as it is. And, you know, normally in the morning I go through a good four or five snacky bars and, you know, oatmeal and all that. And like that morning I had one snacky bar, no oatmeal, you know. It definitely matters. And I somehow still did like a, I don't know, 35-ish plus mile day. I had to go all the way to Walmart and whatnot, so I 37, 38. I don't know, too many, too many. My feet seem to be handling it pretty well. They were swollen, like the center of the pad was really swollen on both feet. But not uh, blistery swollen, just like beat, tenderized, I guess. But sleeping overnight, you know, everything's not back to normal, but near normal. I just won't try to push any more big days if I don't have to. We'll see what's up with this storm coming in. I'm not overly concerned with it. I'll deal with it when it happens and then I'll cry. But for now, it's just the rumors. <sighs> Let's get out of town, man. Oh, 
All the trees are in bloom up here. Those look like the same kind of flower, just different colors. Those cherry trees? I don't know. Some over there. That guy's blooming. Oh, that one up ahead is. They're everywhere. We need more of these in the world. All these towers up here and nothing, man. I'm just getting 4G. I've seen one 5G tower in this whole town and I don't know if I was getting 5G at that point because I was just walking by it so I didn't check. I was trying to upload a movie. I did pause it while I was in the tunnel because uh, you just get bad receptions when you're underground. When I'm far enough into it where I think I'm just going to wait it out and see if it uploads. You know, I'm into the less than an hour range. So I don't want a big gap in releasing these things, but it might just happen. I'm not sure where I can upload between here and the Grand Canyon, and then that doesn't seem like a very uploadable place, so I'm not sure what to do. A ton of houses around here or establishments are sandbagged all over the place. Obviously, they've been here for a minute, suggesting that they have an issue. Well, these people went for the whole concrete border and screw building a wall. Oh, because there was next to the flash flood area. You think they would have known this when they were building it? Like maybe done these surveys or something. <laughs> That's crappy. Man, they're all built up like they're at war over there. Sandbags galore. I don't want to live somewhere where I have to sandbag my door. <laughs> you have to step over your sandbags to get inside of your establishment. No thanks. Okay, I don't know what's going on, but this one-way valve is bullshit. You know, it's got an in and an out. This thing is now empty. Empty. Like, it was almost full this morning, and I was like, nah, I can squeeze, like, you know, a few more cooks into that thing, and this thing, you know, holds way more. No, this thing is more full than it was, and that thing's empty. I guess, screw it, I'm carrying the big one. I'm just gonna cook the hell out of stuff, I guess. And if I didn't add enough weight to my back, I decided to up my water capacity by another liter. So I'm getting rid of my old dirty bottles. Yeah, well used. If they don't look like this, you haven't used them enough. And I'm going to upgrade two of my bottles with those, thus adding yet another 2.2 pounds to my bag. And a few snacky bars. Oh, I'm going to gamble. I have this much TP for six days. Is that enough? We'll find out. So I'm not buying a new roll. I'm not going back in to buy a new one. And my bag is stuffed. You know, I got all sorts of stuff on the outside. You think, oh, he still has room. But I've got that food bag and that food bag and that solar charger still put in there. Yeah. Oh, that thing's got to be over 60 pounds. There's just too much junk in it. There's stuff I don't even need right now. An umbrella and stuff like that. But it costs money to send stuff home. And then they send it back to you, and it's generally about the cost of the product, so yeah, I just carry everything with me. So I'm just gonna kick it here for a few minutes and sit down and relax. This is my first chance to sit down and relax since I got into town yesterday. Oh. Towns are a little different for me than they are for most people, and sometimes I do wake up and I'm a little, um, I don't know, mildly depressed. and maybe jealous I guess of the people that can just come in and throw down four or five hundred bucks to hang out in a town for a day or two and you know not have to worry about hey I gotta do this gotta do that you know blah 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 
know, my town experience is, is totally different from that. I do enjoy it most of the time, but sometimes I do wake up under a bridge feeling a little down. You know, seeing all the other hikers, but they're all squeaky clean and rested and relaxed looking. Hardly recognize them as hikers except for the way they walk and dress. And we've barely begun. You know, still have damn near 4,000 miles left. Only what? I'm only like, what, 500 in something? 600? I don't know. Did I bite off more than I can chew? I don't think so either. It's just not easy all the time. I make it look easy a lot of the time, but you know, it's not as easy as I make things look. But it's not all that bad either, even when it is. All right, we got a cold front to beat. I'm just going to chill here for a few. And then, luckily I got tables and um, I can throw the pack up on to get it on my back. Because just getting it from the ground to, to my shoulders is the hardest thing I do all day. Oh, my pack is huge and heavy. I am not in the mood to climb some mountains. Hopefully it's some mellow days, maybe. Let's see. Let's figure out how to get back to the trail. It is a good thing I went to Walmart and all that last night, though. Hikers had cleaned out all the hiker stuff. So, any more, and I would have missed out on those few pulled pork packages and white meat chickens that I got. I didn't get enough, but I got what they had left. It's like that with all the hikerish foods, the north sides, and all that very limited selections. These towns aren't prepared. That's why they only have the huge gas cans. They just, they don't realize they're hiker towns. And they should stock up during certain times of the year to make more money. Only well, makes sense. Some sort of music festival or something going on at Trailhead. Oh yeah, they got food and all that going on. Chill wind blows. Hey, we're back on the Arizona Trail. Seems like a place to have second coffee, right? That's what I'm thinking too. Hey, this looks like a second coffee spot. So all these people came over and they all started stabbing their fingers. All of them. I don't know what they're testing in that um, glucose test or something. But I've never seen a group of people do it. They're all just running and then they all stop over and start stabbing themselves. This place is just covered with humans. They're all just all over the place. It's windy so I got my wind block out. This thing's really helping out too. But yeah, it's stupid windy up here. Only got windy when I started wanting to make my coffee. But hey, it is what it is. It's not like I've got you know, to worry about fuel. I can waste it if I want. Well, yeah, I'm gonna chill here. I am in no big rush other than the whole weather thing, but yeah, it is what it is. It doesn't look that formidable. And you know we're not going over the tippity top of that. We're probably going over like here or something. But we'll see. All starting to gather and congregate. This is probably the part where they sacrifice a virgin. I am safe. I went for a walk to go use the bathroom, but they smell so bad. I was like, I'll just hold it and go out in the woods, man. Okay, so this is all about outdoorsy, natural stuff, trails. I don't know exactly what, you know, because I'm not going to read their stuff. Yeah. And I felt safe leaving my pack over here while I wandered. The things like Thor's hammer, only he who is worthy can lift this fucker. And we are off on the Arizona Trail. Not to Nate Avery. Easy peasy, look at this. It's paved. You can drive cars side by side on this thing. It's just gonna stay like this. There's probably a tunnel up ahead just so I can go right through the mountain. So I watch those people and they're running big circles. Oh, they're not doing it anymore. 
I don't know how far, but there's little groups of them. They'd come over and they'd all stab their fingers and get checked. And then they'd go running again. They'd come back like 15 minutes later, get their fingers stabbed again. I was like, maybe they're training for the Olympics or something. But they were German, so I didn't interact with them. They didn't speak, I don't know if they didn't speak any English, but they didn't speak, speak any when I was around. <sighs> These do not look that formidable. It's just so beautiful here. Everything's so natural. Well, except that. Well, and, and of course that. But the rest of it. <laughs> oh, hey, that's a new one. I have never seen that. Uh, I, I know what it means. Don't toboggan or you know, step on a hill. It's the first time I've ever seen it. Coconino National Forest. Here we come. So that is Joe. There's a lot of Joes on the trail. But we were just walking and talking, coming down the trail. He's from Tucson, so he's new to the area and he's just exploring. I had to peel off to go pee. There's families all over the place and stuff. But anyway, uh, he had a, uh, you know, he's talking about this and that, and you know, I'm telling him what I do. And he's like, do you accept donations? And you know, I thought he was talking about like on YouTube or whatnot. And I was like, of course I do. And he hands me a small handful of cash. Crazy. Uh, you know, I, I did not imply nor hint that I needed money. He just hooked me up. Thank you, Joe. So it was steady uphill to get to this point. My pack isn't feeling as bad as it should. But I'm fairly certain this is more weight than this pack was designed to hold. I'm worried about the shoulder straps popping off. That'll happen, but... Yeah, I did see a guy earlier with one that was ripping off. I was not able to upload anything. I got all the way to 80% with one hour left, it says. And I'm like, cool, so drink my coffee nice and slow. And I gotta check it before I take off. And I'm at 60 something percent with three hours to go. So I was like, okay, it's gonna cancel that one. And now I'm down to like 30% battery. I know, first four pounds and all that. Normally I'm anti-fence, but this is aspen protection. There's tiny little aspen trying to grow here. Aspen is because we're dying from drought, insects, and disease. Huh. In 20 or 30 years, the fence will be removed when they're big enough to stand on their own. So that the elk don't eat them to death. Good luck, Aspen. Old tires painted pink means stop. Everybody knows that. Burned area. Schultz.
somebody's building a house right there. I have private property, no trespassing. See a bunch of big houses from up here. And lots of wind. They've done that thing where they pile up the debris here as well. I mean, that's that kind of shape meant for burning. If you lit that up, all these trees are going to go because they're all dead. So do you add those to the pile first? I don't know. Damn it, if you thought that last wood was piled. Boom! Wow, you'd be able to see that from space. Well, that's not the only one. There, it's slacking around here. All right, one of the biggest horny toads I've ever seen. Oh, there he is. Just taking all the big rocks today. That one's gonna get somebody someday. The terrain is nice, but that also means a lot of mountain bikers. These are like number, I don't know, 13, 14, and 15, maybe. Oh, oh, oh. Double wipeout. Yay! You catch that stuff on camera. Little do they know that I did that with my mind. It's been a pretty mellow climb so far. Hard to even tell you're climbing. Just a little bit here, a little bit there. Mostly pretty gradual. I assume they'll be climbing eventually. There's still a mountain I can see peeking through the trees. But very pleasurable for a walk out of town. Normally the walk out of town is pretty grueling. It's generally uphill. And you have way more weight on your back. Oh. Random spine and hip bone. I guess they do set them on fire. We did the ring, the base stays. Yeah. Interesting. Well, there's another burned up one. That seems kind of fun. Doesn't seem fun stacking them on a hill like that. But if they need a guy to set them on fire, I'll do that job. Spine. Well, this is promising for future water. I don't really need it now. If I did, I did. I definitely have the gas to melt it all. According to the map, there should be water 
you know, I don't know, it's like four or five or something like that from here. Still have two liters on me. And I might just find a really nice campsite and just stay there. It's not like I need water in the morning as long as I have enough to make my coffee and to sip on towards the next water. It's all I really need. You know a lot of mountain bikes come through and they start putting up street signs. Where is this stop sign at? This is just littered with body parts. Ooh. Okay, here's the road that you need to stop for. I don't see a stop sign. Oh, I guess they have a backwards one. Up right. this little thing. No big deal. Oh, hey, there they are. Most of the snow is melted off that I saw yesterday. Or was that the day before? I think that was yesterday, yeah. Oh, I saw a small trickle of water. Oh, yes I do, and some puddles. Perfect. I don't technically need water. I don't know, I don't remember where the next water source was. But I'm going to grab this regardless, fill up, so I can just camp whenever I feel like it. The sun's still kind of high. Still have maybe two hours of hiking left, but I, I'll stop when I find the spot I want to stop at. You can definitely tell cold front's coming in. It's just been windy all day, and it's getting colder as it goes on. Sun's still up, but temperature has definitely dropped. That water was good and clear. A couple little worms swimming around in it. But, you know, they're not going to make it through the filtering process. And even if they did, they're just protein. Hey, now it's time to find a camp, a camp spot. I say it'd be nice to find one out of the wind, but I don't think that's going to happen up here. So I'm just going to, you know, look for something nice. So many huge piles. So many people on bikes. That has to be number 35 at least. It says that pile over there. Jeebus. But that would explain all the stumps. Okay, is Mikasa for the night. Decent windbreak. I mean, the best I've, I've found, so it works. It's level ground. I, I like that a lot. Trail is just right there. And I got full water. So, yeah, I'm going to crash out. I'm, I didn't get really good sleep last night, so I'm pretty tired today. So, yeah, let's cook some stuff, eat some stuff, and fall asleep. Today for dinner, we're going kind of overboard. We got four cheese pasta and the roasted garlic, mm, and a whole bag of white meat chicken. Got a couple more of those. Those are the big bags. I normally don't grab those because that's a little more. I mean, look how full this thing is. Oh, it's heavy. I had to mix it in two cups to get it to mix properly. But yeah, that's oh, that's that's a pound and a half of food right there. Mm. All right, let's make that disappear.